the springtime is alive with green and flowers and my crabapple blossoms flowing falling to the ground after a wet rain. It has been quite the spring for us and I love this time of year when life really begins to happen. So I'm creating some beautiful spaces around my home and sharing them with you so in hopes you can be inspired to make your outdoor space as beautiful as your inside. first stop we have is our local greenhouse. It is so fun to take the girls along and my little boy too and just pick out some plants that I can put into some flower pots. Flowers bring me so much joy. So yes, this is something I invest some money into, but they last all summer long and even sometimes after. So I enjoy making my space beautiful even if it costs a little bit. And now it's time to get my flower pots ready. I use a variety of pots, galvanized buckets, different pieces that I've found, I've had um, handed down to me, things I've found on the side of the road, some things people have given to me, and I'm filling it with some organic potting soil that I got just from our local Ace Hardware, which is lovely that they have a good quality potting soil and just making sure the pots are full enough. And it's pretty breezy where we are, so I did put some rocks in the bottom for drainage because I do not want my pots tipping over and spilling out and losing all the beautiful work that was put into that. This is one of my favorite parts, arranging the different flowers. I love the royal colors of pinks, purples, um, darker purples, whites. I don't use a lot of red or orange. I have a little bit of yellow, but I just really love how full they get. And that's one thing with just laying them in there to begin with, I can check to see how full do I want it? Do I want it um, to fill in as time goes or do I want it just to be full right away? One tip, a friend told me and our local florist actually she said when you fill pots have fillers thrillers and spillers so fill the edges with beauty um, have the thriller the tall one and the spillers some that go over the side so just some tip for you as you are planting your outdoor flowers this season So one area I always plant is my little house number box that we DIY'd a while ago. But as I was noticing, it looks quite faded and worn out. So I am just taking some leftover white paint we had and touching it up. Yes, it probably will only last this season and then through the winter because I will have to touch it up again. But it looks so much better to have a fresh coat of white paint. It took five minutes to paint that, take the house numbers off, um, just like I said, touch it up a little bit and then add the flowers. So I use this pot to put into my big crock because I love this crock outside on our front stoop and just how big it is. I found it out rummaging several years ago. Anyways, and then there is our house number box sign and that will fill in beautifully with this time coming. And there is my front stoop. Just the blooms really are beautiful and my perennials are coming in nicely and it's just going to be a beautiful late spring and summer when they really fill in. All right, to my ferns. So I overwintered my ferns. I had three of them and I am dividing this one out. It was a lot of work because the root was so balled up together and hard. So I honestly just cut it with this shovel and then tore it apart. And um, then I split the pots and I had an interruption from my little boy trying to pull some of my freshly potted flowers out, of course, but so it goes as a mom with littles. Anyways, I divided my fern and repotted them into separate ones because you'll see later I use them on my deck because the deck is shaded. So I use all ferns on the deck just because they grow so well in the shade. So that's something you can do if you want to save a little money. Um, if you have space to overwinter some plants, I saved a few as well. Some of my coleuses, uh, geranium, and then all of my ferns. And then you can divide your ferns out because they get so big and beautiful. 
So to my little back deck and it needed some good cleaning and sweeping and I did do a staining of it last year. I guess my husband did because I was pregnant, but it definitely could probably use a refreshing this year, but we're just going to cover it with my rug I saved from last year and last year I used the gray side this time. I thought I'm going to do the white. It is so lightweight easy to just spray off with a hose and clean off and everybody had to give it a test right now I guess including the dog so I just am sweeping that off as well and then I get my patio furniture on it this chair was a $15 rummage find actually it was a Facebook marketplace find and then just bought a cushion that we've had for a few years to have on it and then the metal chair you see was with a set of a couple others I found on Facebook Marketplace and then I'm just getting it set with my little bit of deck decor, this old crate so I can put my ferns on it and doing a little rearranging of the ferns to see where I like them because I kind of want to, sorry my little boy's playing, I kind of want to cover the meter box that we have too. So I just kept it so, so minimal and simple this year. I just am realizing the more kids we have, the less I need on my deck and just keep it super, super simple. One of the last projects in place to beautify is at our guest cottage. So I dug up the dirt, the grass actually, along the side of our guest cottage because I want to put in some zinnias. And currently when I'm doing this voiceover, they are popping up out of the ground. So it's been wet, which is great because it made it easier for me to get this grass out. Um, and so I just took some time to dig up the grass then I amended it with some um, organic soil to put on top so that it would hopefully grow a little bit better and um, neutralize or fertilize the flowers. And then I ordered this pack of zinnia seeds from Amazon and I am just excited for them to grow and fill in and be beautiful along the side of our guest house. So little spaces around my backyard bring me so much joy. I love this time of year, like I said, where I can create different pockets of beauty. My gardens are blooming with the tulips and now starting to bloom with some of the late spring summer blooms and the plants I bought are filling in and everything is just really starting to look beautiful. Yes, it takes time, but doesn't everything we enjoy sometimes take time, right? If you want things to look beautiful and nice, things take time and effort. But I want to share little snippets of my outdoor space with you and how I am making it beautiful. Mm -hmm. 